With the news of Zach Dingle's death, it's going to be a very emotional week on Emmerdale. I'm so sorry, darling, but Zach, he's died. Where are you going? Wishing well. I need to start telling the family I'm going to see Bell and Sam and then our chairs. I'll be OK. I promise you. I may remember. I may. Well, Jeff Hordley, who, of course, plays Kane Dingle, joins me now. Really good to see you. Thank you for joining us this morning. That must have been a really, really difficult... All of those scenes, very difficult for all of you because, you know, you're saying bye to a, a much-loved character, but also to a friend. Yeah, yeah. It was um, it was very poignant. It was really well written. Uh, a great testament to Zach, the character, and a great tribute to a dear friend, Steve. So, um, yeah, we did have some laughs as well, though, um, in the in the true tradition of Steve Halliwell, because he was uh, he he was a bit of a he liked to joke on set and and have fun. So, as much as it was poignant when the camera was rolling uh, off the camera, we were putting lots of Steve-isms and making each other laugh and telling stories of, of Steve um, throughout the, the, the week that we shot it. So it was, it was a really lovely time. Yeah, it was. It was, it was kind of like a tribute to him, you know. It was, it was remembering, mm. remembering the man and remembering the character because obviously you, you knew him mm -hmm. so, so well and he was such a huge, huge part of Emmerdale, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I always uh, have said recently that um, we here as, as a company have got a lot to thank Steve for because he was such a gentle, humble, non-egotistical, grounded human. And, and that kind of helps to permeate through that kind of culture throughout the cast. Um, so I think we have a lot to thank Steve for here and we miss him dearly, but I think this is a really fitting tribute this week. Uh, the episodes that are to come are brilliant. You can now stream it um, before uh, the episode airs on ITVX in the morning. So yeah, you can, you can watch tonight's episode right now. No, of course. Maybe, maybe after we're finished, though, Jeff. Maybe not, not quite now. They can, they can wait till. No, wait not, till not right now, Lorraine. But you know. <laughs> not right now. This very second. That would have made him laugh. That would have made Steve laugh a lot. I'm sure. But you are such a family in Emmerdale. It is a really, you know, it's really tight knit. And obviously, you've got those funeral scenes and all of that to get through. But tonight, we've got a sneaky preview. We can see Kane and Sam bring right. Zach's body back home because obviously he was up in Scotland. Well, in true Dingle style, I think we can say. Why are you hmm. even back here? I thought you were staying with Dad and then travelling with the hearse. Well, that was the plan, but they couldn't ship until next week. So, uh, we did it ourselves. What? What, you've just thrown Dad in the back of our manky van? We didn't have any choice. He left instructions. Yeah, in his wallet. Yeah, if he passed, he wanted to be buried as soon as. Within 48 hours. So that's what we're going to do. Jeff, it's what he would have wanted, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, there's, there's this kind of uh, typical dingle mayhem in this funeral as well, which, uh, which uh, again, is a, a great tribute to the family and also to Steve as well. So it, it'll be, uh, a, a, you know, it's a lovely, lovely week's episodes this week. And we don't want to give too much away, but we shall say that there's someone who turns up at the funeral quite unexpectedly, and I think people will really... They'll be quite surprised by that, but we don't want to give away too much, do we? No, we don't. I mean, I can tell you mm -hmm. that she's a good friend of some of us in the cast. Um, Zoe Henry's worked with her on stage, William Ash and, and I have done a play with her, so it was really great to kind of... To kind of um, welcome this character to uh, the show um, and she's very very good indeed mm, that's intriguing that's intriguing lots of uh, lots of layers going on obviously because um, Moira who of course Kane is married to Moira and um, mm. she's going through her own health problems but she doesn't want to tell him because you know she doesn't want to worry him yeah, I mean, very as a sim in the similar mould to Kane that he'll do anything to protect his family. Yep. Moira's very similar 
with when it comes to Kane. So she doesn't want to tell him exactly that she's got this potential of this this operation uh, and to protect Kane because she knows he's going through so much. So you know she's. She's she's definitely got that Dingle DNA in her. Yeah, I think that I think a lot of people will relate to that. I really do. Now, look in real true life. I know mm. that you love your allotment. It keeps you it keeps you sane, yes. and you enjoy going off down there. What at this yeah. time of year? Look at you with your cauliflower. Boy, that's a whopper. That is a <laughs> whopper. And um, what's it going? Was it? Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. going on down there at the moment? <laughs> what are you up to? Um, there's there's uh, lots of charred kale uh, in at the moment. Um, it's the kind of end of the season, but I yeah. tell you what we do have, which is really you might find unusual in the polytunnel. This is when the the uh, the chilies fruit the most, oh, okay. which is like in October, which is kind of good because we need a bit of heat in these times. So Absolutely. I've got a lot of chilies. I can send you some down if you want. Could They're very you? hot. Do you like a chili? I do. I like the hotter the better. Yes, actually, that would be really good. And Doctor Amir's oh, going right. to be on with this pakora, so the chilies in there. That it just this just all works, doesn't it? It basically just okay, all works. Perfect, it's seamless. Perfect. Seamless it is. Yeah. Listen, thank you so much um, for joining us this morning. I really appreciate thank it. You, we can Elaine. see in the background there's some Christmas decorations, only because you're so far ahead of yourself, yes. so far ahead of yourself in Emmerdale that I know already you are building up to Christmas. But thank you so much. Great to see you. Yes. Cheers, love. Thank you. And Emmerdale continues tonight, 7.30, of course, on ITV1.